When we think about conspiracies, we often picture wild theories with no proof. But today, I'm here to tell you about eight real-life plots that actually happened, dark and controversial enough to challenge what we know about history. These aren't just stories, they're documented events that reveal the hidden side of government actions and raise questions, specifically the last one. From secret experiments in mind control to staged attacks on our own soil, these conspiracies are as real as they are shocking. Let's dive right into the first story, a chilling plan by the CIA that involved unsuspecting citizens in dangerous experiments. Buckle up. Imagine a time when the CIA conducted secret experiments on unsuspecting citizens, trying to control their minds. It sounds like science fiction, but it was very real. This was MK Ultra, a covert project launched in the 1950s, designed to test mind control techniques using LSD, hypnosis, and other extreme measures. Under the guise of national security, the CIA recruited scientists and doctors to perform these experiments, often on people who had no idea what was happening. Victims included soldiers, prisoners, and even children, subjected to drug-induced hallucinations, sensory deprivation, and mental manipulation. Some were left with permanent psychological scars. One of the most infamous subjects was Ted Kaczynski, later known as the Unabomber, who participated in a series of these psychological tests during his time at Harvard. The project continued in secrecy until the 1970s, when it was finally exposed during a series of congressional hearings. By then, many of the files had been destroyed, and the truth about what really happened during MKUltra may never fully come to light. But the question remains, how far did the CIA go, and are similar projects still happening today? What if I told you, that the U.S. government once planned to stage attacks on its own citizens to justify a war. This was the shocking reality of Operation Northwoods, a proposal developed in the 1960s during the height of the Cold War. The plan was simple but chilling. Fabricate acts of terrorism against American targets, then blame Cuba to drum up public support for an invasion. Proposed attacks included hijacking planes, bombing American cities, and even sinking boats full of Cuban refugees. The idea was to create outrage and rally the public behind a military strike against Fidel Castro's regime. Fortunately, when the plan reached President John F. Kennedy's desk, he outright rejected it. But the fact that such a proposal was even considered raises disturbing questions about how far some leaders are willing to go for political gain. Operation Northwoods was declassified in the 1990s, sparking outrage and disbelief that such a plot could have existed. In 1964, a naval skirmish off the coast of Vietnam changed the course of history. Known as the Gulf of Tonkin Incident, this event led to the full-scale involvement of the United States in the Vietnam War. But years later, declassified documents would reveal a shocking truth. Much of what was reported that day never actually happened. On August 2nd, the USS Maddox was allegedly attacked by North Vietnamese forces. Just two days later, another attack was reported. These incidents were presented to Congress as unprovoked acts of aggression, leading to the Gulf of Tonkin Resolution, which gave President Lyndon B. Johnson the authority to escalate the war. But as the years went by, it became clear that the second attack likely never occurred. Intelligence reports were manipulated, and details were exaggerated to justify military action. The Gulf of Tonkin incident remains a powerful example of how misinformation can lead to devastating consequences. How many other times have we been told only part of the story? In 1972, a seemingly minor break-in at the Democratic National Committee headquarters in Washington, D.C., would lead to one of the biggest political scandals in American history. Watergate. What started as a burglary soon revealed a web of corruption and abuse of power that reached all the way to President Richard Nixon. The break-in was traced back to members of Nixon's re-election campaign who had been spying on political opponents but it didn't stop there. Secret recordings from the Oval Office would later expose Nixon himself trying to cover up the scandal. As investigations unfolded, it became clear that this wasn't an isolated incident, but part of a larger scheme to manipulate the political process. By 1974, facing impeachment and a loss of public trust, Nixon became the first U.S. president to resign. Watergate forever changed how Americans view their leaders, reminding us that no one is above the law even the President of the United States. In 1978, a seemingly ordinary umbrella became the weapon in one of the most infamous assassinations of the Cold War. 
This was the Bulgarian Umbrella, a bizarre plot to silence a dissident that unfolded on the streets of London. Georgi Markov, a Bulgarian writer and outspoken critic of the communist regime, was walking across Waterloo Bridge when he felt a sudden sharp pain in his thigh. He turned to see a man with an umbrella hurrying away. Markov thought nothing of it at first, but within days, he fell gravely ill and died. An autopsy revealed a tiny, ricin-filled pellet embedded in his leg, a sophisticated poison delivery method linked to the Bulgarian secret police and possibly even the KGB. The assassination was shocking not just for its brutality but for the sheer ingenuity of the weapon, a modified umbrella designed to inject poison. To this day, the case remains a chilling reminder of the lengths that governments will go to silence their enemies. But it also leaves us wondering, what other methods of assassination remain hidden from public knowledge? In the 1980s, a secret operation involving arms sales, hostages, and foreign rebels shocked the American public. This was the Iran-Contra scandal, a covert affair that shook the Reagan administration and raised serious questions about government accountability. The scheme was complex high-ranking officials, secretly sold weapons to Iran, which was under an arms embargo, hoping to secure the release of American hostages in Lebanon. The profits from these sales were then funneled to the Contras, a rebel group in Nicaragua, fighting against the Sandinista government. This was done despite a clear congressional ban on funding the Contras. When the scandal broke in 1986, it became clear that members of the administration had acted against the law. While President Reagan denied any direct involvement, key figures in his administration faced charges. Iran-Contra remains a stark reminder of how secrecy and deception can undermine democracy, leaving us to wonder, what other covert operations remain hidden from public view? In the 1980s, a scandal emerged in France that would shock the nation and expose a tragic failure in the healthcare system. Known as the Contaminated Blood Scandal, this conspiracy involved the distribution of blood products tainted with HIV, infecting thousands of patients, including hemophiliacs and hospital patients, who trusted the safety of their medical care. The scandal began when it was discovered that the French Blood Transfusion Service had knowingly used HIV-contaminated blood in medical treatments, even though safer alternatives were available. Shockingly, it was later revealed that high-ranking officials delayed implementing safety measures to avoid financial losses and ensure continued profits. By the time the public learned the truth, over 4,000 people had been infected with HIV, many of whom were unaware until it was too late. This case not only highlighted gross negligence but also revealed the corruption and lack of accountability within public health systems. Even after some officials were tried and convicted, the scandal left a lasting impact on the French healthcare system, sparking reforms and a deep mistrust that persists to this day. It begs the question, how much do we really know about the systems we rely on? Imagine being part of a medical study and trusting that you're receiving the best care, only to find out decades later that you were being used as a human guinea pig. This is the tragic story of the Tuskegee Syphilis Study, one of the darkest chapters in American medical history. Beginning in 1932, the U.S. Public Health Service began a study on untreated syphilis in African American men, telling them they were receiving free medical care. But instead of treating them, doctors simply observed the progression of the disease, even after penicillin became an effective cure. For 40 years, these men suffered and died while believing they were receiving help. It wasn't until 1972, when a whistleblower exposed the truth, that the study was finally shut down. The Tuskegee Syphilis Study remains a haunting reminder of how easily trust can be exploited, and it still affects how many people view the healthcare system today. It leaves us with a powerful question, how can we prevent such atrocities from ever happening again? These conspiracies reveal a hidden side of history, where secrets, deception and power plays unfolded behind closed doors. But these stories are just the tip of the iceberg. From MKUltra to Iran-Contra, they remind us that sometimes the truth is stranger and darker than fiction. Now I want to hear from you. Which of these conspiracies shocked you the most, and do you think there are other hidden plots waiting to be uncovered? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive into history's darkest secrets, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more content just like this. Until next time, stay curious and keep questioning the stories you're told.